Hello ladies. She don't like social media. Go to the other one. Not She's shy. Snapchat. Some of them are still down there at the timber. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is the bull that I'm talking about that go out there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. It's bigger than I thought. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello, ladies. Mm -hmm. Hello, ladies. A little cough at the end, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> talk to me, talk to me. Sing us a song. There's a bunch of calves back here in the back. I don't know if you can see them back there and out there. All, some of them are all grouped up in the back there. My bull standing in amongst them there. You see his head all rubbed up on top? See, you see my bull's head's all rubbed up bald on top? Because he was fighting Mr. Uh, Sarnock's bull next door. Mr. Sarnock's bull got in here. That's why all them tire tracks are when we were coming in the gate. He had to come in here and get him, get him separated. His bull broke in over here in our property and the bulls was fighting. Yeah, everything's done. Is that some buzzards down there? There's some buzzards down there near those cows. I hope one of them didn't lose a calf. Or maybe they're messing with her. She's got baby calf. I see buzzards down there near those cows. So. You might want to go check that. We need to go in this gate back here though and not mess with them. Them double gates up here. It's called fat. It's called fat. That it? You done? Let's go open this other gate and go see what those buzzards are down, down there near those other cows. They could be after after birth that she gave a calf. Um, I don't know. Boy, I have an absolutely beautiful field here right now. Just look at that. That grass is so nice. See the color change. It's this camera will make it look more yellow than it is sometimes. That is a really green, green grass. See that field over there, how nice it is. And this field over here where I got them at, they've been grazing. It's not as nice. Um, it's got a lot more weeds and stuff in it. I haven't worked this ground in this little front corner field here in a few years and I'm going to plow it. Here, maybe September. I'm gonna plow this up pretty good. Cord water moisture is in the ground. I think I see a calf down there. Yeah, I think they got a calf right here. And them buzzards, they'll kill that calf when they're hungry in the summer like this. Yep. Oh, yeah. oh no, there's a bunch of buzzards. They're messing with this calf. She's having to guard this calf. Yep, newborn calf. And those buzzards. Yeah, it's a new Man, they have just got out of control here lately. Yeah, oh, here, yeah. don't open the door over here yet. I don't want her to run with it. Oh, it's a beautiful car. 
these darn buzzards. We have a problem pecking at these calves and cows. Well, Mama, you have a beautiful little newborn calf. Look at that. Good job. Good job. Look at that. I mean, it's a newbie. There's a young calf there, too. There's two calves down here. This is a newborn. Well, good job, Mama. That thing can barely walk. We had to run uh, buzzards away from a calf over at our house the other day. But she's having to guard it. That is cute. I figured there's probably a calf here. I'll tell you something on these vultures, these buzzards, call them vultures. These are turkey buzzards. I guess they call them turkey buzzards because their heads ball like a, like a turkey is, you know. But I'll tell you something on them. They are a protected species here, right? But, but the thing is, is that how long do you go with that protection before they start multiplying to the point that they're doing more damage than good now a buzzard they're important they're a vulture they're important they're important to the ecosystem man they clean up uh, dead animals of all types really i mean it's the nitty-gritty what they do you know but it's important because that keeps the disease down so without them there's a lot of disease and that disease could run rampant so anytime you have something like that that um, cleans up a carcass, something that's decaying, that's a good thing, you know. Um, but here's the problem. Here's where it runs into a problem. When there's too many of them and there's not enough dead out there for them to eat, I know this just sounds gross, but this is what they do. They're vultures. They're buzzards. So when they don't have dead out there to eat they will mess with things that are alive and this is what we've been experiencing for several years now we've lost cows a cow trying to have a calf and it's being born and they run up there behind the cow and start pecking and grabbing that calf and it's a sad thing but it's the reality and uh tear the cow up tear the calf up the calf passes away and usually the cow passes away too and uh the cow will be wore out and tired too because she's been walking and pacing and buzzards chasing around her uh, while she's trying to birth. And uh, I mean, you can't just be out there in a the field and guard them constantly. This has been an ongoing thing that us and others have had a problem with um, as this buzzards have just become very, very thick. We went through a town not far from here, I don't remember, it was a couple years ago, and man, there was just literally thousands of buzzards that come in and roosted all over the place. It, it was unbelievable. So, I don't know, they might want to look at revising that a little bit, I don't know. Woo! Come on, come on. Woo! Come on, ladies. Woo. Come on, girls. Woo. Come on. Woo. Woo. There you go, girls. Hello, my beautiful bunch. Hello, my beautiful bunch. 
Hello. Let's open up this gate and let you have some fresh grass. Y'all want some fresh grass, babies? Let me swing the gate on around. part of one end is these calves they're not used to me all them calves are 